The following scenes will describe the events and processes of insect molting, metamorphosis, and reproduction, and the hormones that regulate them. This introductory scene will serve to present general information for the subsequent scenes that discuss specific aspects for endocrine regulations of insect molting, metamorphosis, and reproduction. It is important to first point out that many of the endocrine regulated events described here are based on results from research on lepidopteran species, especially the tobacco hornworm and Duca sexta. To accurately discuss these findings, especially molting and metamorphosis, it is important to understand the meanings for specific terms related to these unique processes. These terms are larva, instar, stadium, apolysis, exuvium, ferrate, ecdysis, eclosion, and imago. Larva is any immature insect between molts. Instar refers to the individual immature insect larva between molts. Stadium refers to the time span between molts. Apolysis is the separation of the insect epithelium cells from the endocuticle at the start of molting. The exuvium is the former epi and exocuticles shed at the molt. Ferrate refers to the next instar individual following apolysis, but still surrounded with the exuvium prior to ecdysis. Ecdysis is the process of shedding the exuvium. Eclosion is both for hatching of an egg or the act of an individual escaping from its previous cuticle, for example, escape of the adult insect from the pupal cuticle for holometabolous insects or from the last larval cuticle for hemimetabolous species. Finally, an imago is the term for an adult insect. Depending on the species, the onset of molting or reproduction can be regulated by external or internal sensory stimuli. These stimuli synchronize growth, molting, and reproduction with favorable seasonal and daily cycles. External stimuli such as photoperiod and temperature or synergistic effects between the two synchronize growth and reproductive cycles and the timing of generations to the seasons of the year. Additionally, monitoring the daily circadian cycle and day length may signal molting events to occur at a specific time of the day when the danger from predation or temperature extremes are minimal. Identified internal regulatory stimuli for the onset of molting include mechanical feeding activities and abdominal distension, head capsule width, or attainment of a critical body weight sufficient to sustain the pupa long enough to complete adult metamorphosis. Next, hormones related to molting will be described.